Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is your interactive notebook for distance learning. So, um, um, there are 20, I believe, slides in, yep, 20 slides currently in this slide presentation um, that is all uh, developed for your interactive notebook. So the first slide is your cover. Um, you are actually going to click in these text boxes and you're going to change that to your first and last name, your class period, so English 10 or English 11, and then of course your class period, so period one, period whatever. Um, you can also, um, I've customized mine to have my Bitmoji. You can put your Bitmoji, you can attach pictures if you would like. Um, over here on the right hand side we have six tabs these tabs are actually linked so if you um, click on that see the handout slide that's going to take us to slide six you click on that slide and it will bam take you right over to slide six for handouts okay now let's say whoops i didn't really want to go there i can hit this home button it is linked i know you can't see it right now but it is linked i'm going to click on that link down there and it takes me right back to the cover page okay so um that's how that works they are all linked to the proper um section in your uh notebook okay um so this second page here um is going to tell you how to set up your notebook and basically just tell you what i did on that um cover page okay um the Clipboard is going to give you directions, so make sure you pay attention there. Um, on certain pages, there are sticky notes and arrows for you to use, for you to type in, for you to move around and utilize however you wish, okay? Sometimes you'll see an, a video here with an extra tutorial um, on how to do something, and so that will be helpful. So pay attention for slides that have that on the side. The next slide or page has the um, directions on how to set up your table of contents. So you can read that. The next two pages are blank table of contents pages for semester one. I'm sure we will need to add um, as we continue, but for now there are two. So when we get to there, we'll just duplicate this slide um, and it'll just fill right in and we can then use more. Um, in the handout section, the very first page has directions. Again, follow the directions um, on the clipboard as well as on the page. Just tells you exactly what's going to be found in that section. Lots of sticky notes and arrows uh, on there as well. Um, the first handout you have actually is MLA formatting guide. So um, that's there for you already. Then we go to the vocabulary section. There's lots of info about the vocabulary and we'll talk about that before you get too, too deep into it. Um, but again, read this clipboard for further directions. Basically, every week, um, you every full five-day week, you're going to have a set of vocabulary words. There are five vocab words in your weekly list. Um, and so these are the worksheets where you will put those words. Okay, These um, text boxes are in red, so that signifies that you would type in there. Um, and then when you do the part of speech, you actually just grab this highlighted thing and you move it down to the proper part of speech, okay? Um, and so there are five words. So this would be word one, word two, word three, and word four and five, okay? And then there's a second part to the vocabulary where you actually um, work with the words. And again, that's not in here right yet, but we will talk about that. Um, then the reading section, okay, lots of sticky notes and arrows. Again, um, read those directions there. Right now, you actually have a handout there to help you with um, distance learning annotation. Um, and so we'll talk about this very soon. Then we have a writing section. We don't have anything in there yet, but there are some directions and sticky notes. Figurative language is just blank, but I promise uh, very soon, very, very soon, we will have figurative language in there. And then the last section is notes, lots of sticky notes, lots of arrows, because I love them. Um, and then um, this is like how to title your notes, what things you'll do, how you'll do them. Um, and then I also added in at the back some um, highlighting, some things to help you with some highlights, because um, I like highlighting when I take notes. And so those are there for you to use that you can just copy and paste on top of your note taking. All right.